Hello everyone! In one of the previous videos, we created Falling Platforms feature. In this video, I will show you the way how to respawn that platforms. So what's new here from the previous project? First of all, I renamed our stationary bricks as Brick 1 and Brick 2. Here, our cat character stays the same, platforms are removed for now, and new empty game object is created named Platform Manager. This game object has Platform Manager script attached, which has a slot for platform prefab to spawn. Here is this prefab, which is made from one of the platform by dragging and dropping it into project folder. Delete it from hierarchy, we don't need it here. So let's take a look at platform manager script. One of the best ways to have a chance to call its methods freely from other scripts is to create an instance of platform manager, so all of the game objects will have access to it. It is called singleton. Also, here we have a reference to platform prefab, which is assigned in inspector. In awake method, our platform manager instance is initialized. In start method, three platforms are instantiated with different positions. And here is a coroutine named spawn platform, which will be called from brick script to spawn new platform with position passed as an argument. Platform prefab will be spawned with delay of 2 seconds to let fallen platform to disappear. Okay. This script is attached to platform manager game object and platform prefab is dragged and dropped into its slot of that script. Also, let's see what's new in brick script attached to platform prefab. In this script, only one new line of code is added. Here it is added right before drop platform and destroy methods invocation. Here we start a coroutine from platform manager instance passing a position of current platform as an argument. So new platform will be spawned at the same position where fallen platform was. That's it. Now let's hit play and see how it works. Character jumps on platforms, platforms fall and new platforms are spawned instead of old ones. Hope you like this tutorial. Thank you for watching. See you next time.